Come here, puppy dog. What's your name? I offered you a treat before and you didn't even respond. Oh, how is it going to catch that baby? That's got to be a trick in itself. I did for a while, but it was too bad. I couldn't keep up with it. I've got so many ants and stuff in it. I don't know how to keep the ants out from it. That's what I want to know. How do you keep the ants out of those things? You have to change them every day, I suppose. Yeah. Have you ever caught one you banded before? Uh, yes. Although not yeah. here yet in Henderson. Mm -hmm. I haven't caught enough birds here yet. Um, to have a high percentage of the population, the they, but they do tend to come back to the same place year after year. You turn them a little bit around so we can yeah. see the well, Actually, I'm going to hand this to somebody. I want to. There. Yeah. Just so I can get my trap reset. And this one, uh, there's no mistaking the age and sex of this bird. It's an adult male because it has that iridescent red gorget on the throat. Can I have a tall one? Put your head down there. This is a ruby. So pretty. Oh my, look at that color. Did you get a picture? You're sitting right next to me. I didn't want you. I did. I want to hold it. Oh, we can't hold them. They're new. Oh, So the first thing we do is get the bird banded before we take the data. So in case he flies away, he's yeah. got that much done, huh? Right, exactly. It has teeny tiny legs. I want to take a picture of the honeybush. <laughs> she would be tall. She would like to have a picture. <laughs> Of all of them, I think. We're going to put the bird back in the bag. Because i got to reset the band. Okay, now if I hold it, that's how you have You can get No, I want to see a picture. You can't let it hold it because you'll fly away. I'll have, him, I'll have him back way. in my hand in just a jiffy. <laughs> You can take one this way and then another one later. Because they're so little, they'll just fly away if you let it out. I can't see it really good in my camera. Oh, that's too bad. I want to... It's pretty. Oh, it's pretty. Yeah. 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 This bird is being patient. Usually they, they the adults, don't struggle, huh? um, usually when they're in the bag, they don't because the bag material kind of drapes around their body, and I think it makes them feel more secure. Oh, oh, oh. They also feel more secure when they're able to grab onto the mesh with their feet. There's a string here, so you can come yeah. close. Yeah, I know. I can see it. They just got to go stand by a bird feeder and take a picture. Yeah, as big as he is. My goodness. What a, what a fella he's going to be. Okay. So now the band is applied. I mentioned before that area that I look at on their chest. So I take the straw. See this bird, like most of the birds here, hasn't really accumulated any fat. It's still early in the migration season. So, do these you think that one would live here year round, or has he come down from north a ways? Uh, most likely, since it's an adult male, most likely it came down from up north. 
because they migrate first. They're on their way out here. Now the adults also this time of year you'll see they look generally more ragged than the young birds because the young birds all have fresh plumage right now. This is really worn plumage and you can see there's pin feathers here in the head. It's molting in some new body and head feathers. So that's why those little white things are actually pin feathers. They're new feathers uh, that have come out, but the feathers haven't erupted from their sheaths yet. So um, that's what's going on there. What a seagull. <laughs> you want to see it she all, would like don't to you? Take a bunch of them home, wouldn't you? Because they're pretty special. They're pretty little. Do you have a theater at your house so you can watch the birds? No. Well, you should get a feeder. My grandma and grandpa have a uh, hummingbird fields. And we measure the bill and the wing. Does that give you an indication of his age? Uh, it helps verify sex if it's needed and age, but in this case, it's pretty obvious it's an adult male. I still like to get a series of measurements, though. So I can compare this population that I'm banding here to other populations. Where else do you go? Uh, lately, it's been just my place in Red Wing in okay. here. You're in Red Wing, huh? Yes. I need to see the hummingbird. Oh, careful, kid. Yeah, you got to keep kids away or anybody away from that. I just want to see the last thing we do here, the last task is to weigh the bird. Oh my goodness. So, oh my goodness. Put it in the netting. Awesome. Wrap it up like a little burrito. And then this is just a little small spring scale. And we can get a weight on the bird. And this one is 3.1 grams. <laughs> wow. Three? Oh my goodness. Yep. That's about as much as a penny, roughly. That's a good way to remember it. About yeah. like a penny. A little more than a penny, a little less than a nickel is <laughs> <laughs> the typical weight. And the males are smaller than the females, too. A lot of people don't know really? that. But they're, yeah. Isn't that general with all birds, though? Uh, usually with smaller birds, that's the case. Okay. How did you ever get into this? Our birds tend to. Charlie, <laughs> you want to? It's just, I was studying pollination biology. You were and it volunteer. happened to be the plant I was working on was pollinated by hummingbirds. Birds so, so that's what kind <laughs> of got me into it. Do you want to let go of the bird? Do you know how to do it? Put your put, hand out. You put your hand out flat like that. Just keep it flat, okay? Mm -hmm. That's all you have to do. Oh, there you go. Wow! Good job. Oh, that was awesome. <laughs> oh, excellent. Now see, that was a. Yeah.